Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Old World working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So if you've bought Old World on Steam, that you know it has a Mac version. However, if you try to launch it, it's going to crash straight away. So it's going to load up this black screen, it's going to do the beach ball of death, and then it just won't load at all. And this has been acknowledged as an issue by the developers. If we look at the Steam discussion here, we basically need to get it to run using Rosetta 2. So the M1 native version is being developed for Steam, but not on Epic. And for the time being, you're gonna have to run the Intel version instead of the M1 native version. And that's just in order to get this game to run. So the way to do that is quite simple. In Steam, we're gonna control click on the game and our library and we're gonna go properties. I'm gonna to go to local files and then click browse. And then this is going to open up the location within library application support and the Steam apps folder. And basically we're going to control click on old world and click get info. And when we have this window open, we can actually go ahead and see that this is a universal binary. However, we don't want to use the native version because that's bugged out at the moment. We want to open using Rosetta. So make sure that this button is ticked and then you can double click on here or you can go back to Steam and basically you can press play again and it's going to launch with that flag ticked. So this means that when I launch the game now, it's going to load up into the actual menu. It's not going to crash out like before. So as you can see, the game has launched properly. And if I go back to my main menu, you can see here we've launched this on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac using the Rosetta 2 version of the game. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe. I've got lots of other Mac tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.